There are no clouds in the sky, it is raining and the sun is shining. What a strange weather of the start of the episodes. Anyways, we're going to do some more fun stuff in islands. There are a few couple of things that I have in mind, but more about that in a minute. First of all, comments. I have a comment of Yo Hasendong saying, very original. I haven't seen anyone build a real supermarket like this. Thank you a lot for your comment, and I very much agree with you. That's why I feel like this is just so awesome to take a look at. Now, what I might end up doing when the supermarket is finished, I will take it into the editor. I'm going to take care that the building itself is a little bit different. I might add a bit and piece or two to it. And then I'm going to put it into the workshop for everyone to grab. Now, JD Triton is saying, first of all, JB, another great video. Secondly, your numbers are jumbled in order you have one three and two should be one two and three lol well i'm glad that you say so because i haven't noticed that at all so as you can see one three two and i'm also glad that jt is actually telling me how it's supposed to be one two three just joke aside thank you very much for letting me know i appreciate that then I have a comment of Beats Done. This is actually on a episode far ago, but I just want to let you guys know that he is saying, JB, what are the storage boxes you are using in your ship? Looks very smooth and put together. His comment is actually based on the episode where I place it down the blueprint of that first box ship. And now, of course, I have a second one, which is a lot larger with a lot more space and or all the workbenches are in there too. I have been replying to his comment, but just for the people who want to know, I'm using chest cabinets, the one with the large doors. And these chests are absolutely amazing. I got them recommended by... How do I... Press E, right? No? Oh, how can I forget what... <laughs> how can I forget to get into the chest? So yeah, these are all the storage area I got in here. And yeah, this is just getting recommended by all the advanced players. So there you go. And then I got a very different type of comment down here. This one is of Arkeldren, if I pronounced that the correct way. Dude, I love your accent. Please say range it again for me in the next video. Say it a couple times in a row for me, buddy. Thanks for the video. Good luck on your channel. Wow, this is just very, very different. Well, here you have a ranged weapon. Range it, range it, range it, range it. So there you go. I hope that will satisfy your needs. Now, of course. Some people like my voice, some people don't like my voice, some say it's calming, others say I got a bunch of marbles in my mouth and some are commenting that they got a feeling they are in Switzerland and I am the Ober that is about to bring them some nice cheese. <laughs> I had all kinds of comments on to my voice already. I had a lot of comments on my main channel uh, of people saying that I sound like Sean Connery. I think it's funny. So yeah, there you go. Thank you all for your comments. Now, what I would like to do for that to death, man, I cannot find my words here. What I would like to do for today are at least two things. And Snoop Dogg, are you in the area? Man, it's getting smoky up here all of a sudden. So there is something that I'm going to need in order to improve some of my builds. One of these builds is actually the supermarket, which I want to have like a tiny little machine where you can swipe your card or put in your code number, whatever to call it. And in order to do that, so I'm going to need this guy, Gelatine Desert. And for this guy, I'm going to need Animo Goo. Animo Goo? Animo Goo. And if I double click on that, no, where, where is that to be found? Hello? Okay, I, uh, it doesn't say anything. Usually it does. But let's take a look at the world map. A lot of starting players do not really go to the world map and they're like, oh, look at the left side. When you hover over certain things, you can actually see the amount of resources the world is actually containing. Now, I do have to say, oh yeah, you can scroll. Okay, for that stuff, I think I seen, we can actually get it right down here and right down there. So there are two spots. Well, I can already tell you that I'm not going to go to the Arctic. I'm going to stay here and we're going to hunt for Animon Goo. And there was like a second thing. Ah, yes. Second thing is in this Discord today, we actually talked about fishing. And there is something that I haven't really took a look at. And there is a volunteer, which his name will 
probably now pop up in the screen i believe it says hands off d sli uh, this is the guy who always um update wiki it's a lot of work trust me on that for the people who don't know that every time there is update he needs to update stuff but fishing in general you can do that by going into the ocean and fish around now we also have fishing pole and fishing bait now apparently there are different weather conditions really and there are different time zones there are different places as in close to the shore or deep in the ocean that you can find a couple of different stuff and things which i haven't really tested this out just yet so i would just like to do a little test i'm just gonna grab a bunch of bananas now if you ask me what would be handier just fish about or you know just go diving and fishing there are some cases where diving and fishing might be a little bit more handier than just standing there and fishing but diving and fishing in some cases you need to go deep in the ocean and let me just grab this there we go and there are sharks and you know there is a danger of uh, you know getting drowned and in some cases you know it would be very relaxing i would say to just stand on your boat just put the fishing rod out in the sea and then you know see what you're going to get i believe i need this these guys right now there is a thing that i'm actually wondering let's take a look tools fishing okay then it's just here oh i need meat it looks like berries you know but yeah these are just roll it pieces of banana and roll it pieces of meat it is all going to be fine oh and by the way i would also like to show you guys who the ones who didn't know about that in the last stream oh yeah that's we still need to fill in the blueprint i forgot about that this is what we have been doing onto the stream we have been making this lounge area the reason why this lounge area isn't in my world as yet is because you know we kind of ran out of time and i didn't want to rush everything so next stream we're just going to add a few couple of little details here and there and then we're going to put the blueprint down so this has been made by Johannes lego it says a fish on there with some beautiful light and here are some bean bags so you can just chill out and here we have like a nice lounge area and right down here we have a beautiful semi round bar i made this guy i was kind of tired <laughs> so it might not look as spectacular as that one but i guess it will do yeah this bar looks nice and here we have these things where you put your drink on it is actually a walk up to the bar and take your drink and walk back to your lounge area type of idea so that's why there are no bar stools and this here is a karaoke corner and the tv the machine and two boxes are made by jd triton so thank you a lot uh, guys for contributing these blueprints it makes the area looks very nice i really like it downstairs very luxurious very restaurant ish and just upstairs something fun for everyone and i think it will fit in perfectly since we are on a very small island so we need to share something for everyone yeah i got a lot of raw meat there 150 bait it will be thank you uh, very much now let's take a look at the ingredients needed for a fishing pole. Now of course I want to go for the best one out there. I'm going to have, well, zirconium ingot. There we go. Craft. I'm going to take uh, three minutes. All right, here is the fishing pole. Now I'm just, you know, randomly wondering how this is all going to work. Oh, I like that light stick up there. So in night time it is... Um, it's visible to see when that thing is going down. It works. It you need. Oh, is that because of my ship or something? No, it can be right. Okay, okay. Now I am kind of wondering how this um how this works though. And what we are going to do right now is you know I'm I'm going to need to have this uh, goose stuff. So I figured out that meanwhile we are on our way to a new map let's just stop for a second at these different under underwater biomes these and let you see what is up so i have here one i can fish around here this is by the way from the clay thank you a lot jd for 
yeah for telling me something like that for pointing that out there we go for pointing that out and yeah meanwhile we are on our way we can also just take a look at maybe some random encounters maybe relic -y type of stuff just have a little bit of a chill fishing day so let me just see will we get something different from down here I'm only figuring out that, you know, the, um, the fishing rod is a little bit in the way like that. Kelp, that's... I mean... Oh, okay, you could just... <laughs> I get the point, like, you, your fishing hook can be stuck in, like, a plant or something, but... Maybe the fish are messing with us, because, you know, pulling it down and then we think, Oh yeah, we have a fish and then it's a plant. I hope I won't catch any shoes or stuff. That is a thing in this game. No, not this time. I do figure out that it needs to be a little bit more flexible. So, you know, let us turn around or whatever and increase the range before it starts complaining. Okay, I'm gonna do five more throws or four in this case. And if I catch something interesting, I'll let you know. If not, then yeah, let's move on. All right, I am in a fresh map. Let's take a look what we will face down here. Calm down here. Seen something on my map popping up. It's not what I need, but I just want to take a fishing look. Will you just look at that? Well, isn't that just handy? I mean, yes, it's going to take a longer while than just look at that stuff. It, it, it's not like, I guess it's going fast. But it's just relaxing. And of course you catch a lot of other stuff. Now like I wanted to say just for science. I would just like to go back to my own map. And just take a look at these uh, yellow spots. Which specifically should be for these guys. Okay, unless I find like one right now on my way. I'm just going to go around the island. I'm just going to go back like that. Well lucky me. I just faced a ginormous purple blob down here. Just want to see if... Increased biome size will increase the chance of being lucky. Alright, as you can see on my bait in slot bar number 4, I've been doing a lot of fishing. And this is what I got overnight. I wanted to save up a little bit. So we are up to 8 of these. We are up to 5 of them. 12 of these. So night fishing didn't really give me extra extra. Or at least I want to say that I didn't notice that I get some extra. But it was kind of chill to do so. So in this case, we're going to go back to my map. And I want to see, you know, at those hold up right down there. Um, um, stress. Okay. I wanted to check out this biome here, of course. Now we are at it. I wonder, I wonder, what will be here? Now the thing is, this is very, very tiny though. So I'm not going to be bothered going down all the way. I... I'm not really getting anything special from it. I think it's just too small though. And I always recommend if you go do underwood biome hunting to say, just take care that you got a big blob going. I could just take a small little look this way to see maybe I'm lucky with a bigger blob. Yeah, and the depth is uh, slightly, slightly lesser. Yeah, there were some people in Discord actually saying it is very difficult to see. The yeah, Ammoni Goo. Let me just keep it Goo. Goo, there are multiply ships in here. You know what that means? That means that somewhere on an island there is a pirate. And this pirate... The heck is all of that? Oh, what? No, this is different. The heck is all of this? Okay, don't get too much distracted i need bubbles here is a different encounter with sharks which i'm not very happy with i thought this was like a pirate encounter if there are like three ships around then there is a chest and this chest need a key and by the way the heck is this i haven't seen that one before but then again i cannot remember ever wanting to swim here no it's not really english though Ammoni goo. It should be in here then. If not, then I should go back. Uh, then it will be like a purple biome. What are these plants? Oh. Okay. 
giant clam. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get the heck out of here. If anyone knows if there is something interesting to be found there, let me know in the comment section. For now, I'm not really seeing it. We're right about three, two, one. Plop it down. Beautiful. Now let's take a look underwater. All right, goo. Where are you at? I remember doing this one video where I was like trying to find these snails and I was swimming by them the whole time. So just with the oysters, I'm wondering, are these things or snails, are these things floating or are they like on the bottom? I'm not even sure what it is, you know that? Like what is this goo? Is it like a plant? doesn't really look like a fish well i am gonna give up i checked and checked and checked but nope all right i just checked out my map i need to load in some more areas but basically i get the answer on discord saying that doing it via the fishing rod is still a faster all right, so in this case, there is one more thing that I would like to do, and I would like to milk, so we can make this gelatin stuff, make it ready for the next episode. This is a weird looking goat. <coughs> All right, um, I don't want to touch the wrong thing here because that ain't milk. <coughs> oh, you don't need a bucket for that. <laughs> or do I? I guess I've been playing too much RuneScape or something. Why so much of you guys in here? Well, thank you for your milk. I'm not sure where and how, but you know, which I mean where it's getting hold on to. <laughs> to get some free ball with it or something. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we can... Oh, you need chew milk. Well, you know what? You, you get the deal here. We can now make gelatin dessert, which basically means we can now build some stuff in the editor that is a lot smaller for the supermarket for next time. And so the sun goes under. And so this episode will do. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you got any more information on what, how and when, then you can always let me know down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching.